we started 4EG probably right around 2007, about the same time we opened up Keystone. You know, there's four of us, uh, me and Dave Halpern, Ben Klopp, and Dan Kronikin. You know, we called it Four Entertainment Group because at the end of the day, you know, I wasn't sure if it was going to just be bars or restaurants, if it would expand into something further. I think we created it right at the right time. It was one of those things where we had had a couple bars and, you know, people would say, oh, I didn't know that you guys, you know, own the stand as well as Pavilion. We wanted to brand ourselves and brand our company so that when people, you know, would go to one of our locations, they would really understand what experience they were going to get. It kind of gave a blanket parent company and, and kind of put our stamp on each place that, you know, even though it was different. And we got tired of people calling us the Pavilion guys. Yeah, some people used to call us the Pavilion guys. You know, we kind of got, uh, you know, we got kind of sick of that. And so, you know, we came up with that. We really wanted to centralize uh, all of our marketing, our private party coordinating, and really get more organized so that we could expand further. Right now we have eight places. Each place is different up until when uh, we open up uh, Keystone High Park. That'll be the first time we've done the same same concept or brand twice. Keystone is definitely our restaurant concept. I mean, it's it's a full scale restaurant. As I was getting older and I wanted to make the transition from you know the nightclub business that we were doing really well at the time, I just I wanted to shift into a more of a food service operation. I just wanted to put together a place that I thought was cool or that I thought what I wanted to hang out in at the time, which was just you know high quality food, but relaxing atmosphere, great service. We make everything in house. It's fresh. It comes in fresh. I think the quality of what we serve is uh, is you know uh, some of the best quality you can find in the city. There's no reason why we couldn't take that attention to detail and the quality of service into a casual atmosphere where you could walk in and. You know, could be wearing t-shirts and flip-flops and watch a baseball game and still get a really good product and really good service and just feel, feel comfortable while you're there. It also gave me more opportunity to, to expand that one brand. It's kind of hard to open up three pavilions in one city, but you can do, you know, one or two or three or more keystones. It was a concept that we wanted to, you know, hopefully duplicate and, and with the opening of the new location, it will be our attempt. At the end of the day, we want to open up as many of these. Yeah, I mean, really, since before we had the doors open on this first one, I think there was always the intention that we are going to try and create a brand, or create a, a concept or an atmosphere that could be duplicated. We looked at a lot of places, and we talked about a lot of different neighborhoods, and we've, we've done a lot of walkthroughs. And uh, when we walked through, I, I just, I got, I got the right feel, I got the right vibe. I felt like it was really similar to Keystone Covington. And just in, in a different neighborhood, I feel like uh, Hyde Park's got a really good, uh, you know, fit for what we're going to provide. And uh, I think there's definitely a demand for what we provide in terms of just the quality product and service. Mm -hmm.